When hackers target a company, they don't always start with firewalls or phishing. They aim straight for the heart of the network, Active Directory. Because once you own Active Directory, you own everything. User accounts, servers, policies, the entire digital kingdom bows to your control. In today's video, we're diving deep into how hackers tear through Windows networks using Active Directory attacks, how they map, move, and manipulate privileges until they rule the domain. But here's the twist, we're not just showing how they do it, we're revealing how to stop it before it even starts. This isn't theory, these are the same techniques used in real-world breaches, by red teams, penetration testers, and yes, the ones who get caught on the news. So grab your coffee, buckle up, and let's walk through the battlefield where one wrong permission turns into total domain takeover. Active Directory is Microsoft's identity and access platform for Windows networks. Think of it as the organization's identity brain. Domain controller validate users. Kerberos issues tickets as proof of identity. Groups and organizational units. Define roles and scope. GPO enforce configuration across machines. And service accounts let services authenticate. Together, Active Directory controls who can log in, which machines they can access, and what policies execute. So it's the central trust fabric for most Windows enterprises. Attackers don't magically hack AD, they chain weaknesses. First, they recon map users, groups, trust to find the shortest path to privilege. Then they get an initial foothold, phishing, compromised workstation, and harvest credentials from that host or network memory. With credentials, they move laterally to more valuable hosts and escalate privileges by abusing delegation, group memberships, or weak service account secrets. A large class of attacks abuses Kerberos, ticket requests or forged tickets, or replication features to obtain domain-level credentials, and finally, they build persistence. So, they survive cleanup. Think of AD as the castle's throne room where domains, domain controllers, Kerberos tickets, OUs and group policies are the locks, keys and laws that make a Windows network work. So when attackers map paths and steal the right keys, they don't smash doors, they walk the corridors. Tools for recon, Bloodhound, Sharphound, PowerView, AD Recon, collect directory, session, and ACL data and present it. So attackers can see dangerous paths. Credential theft follows. Initial compromise or phishing lets attackers harvest credentials from memory or disk. Mimikatz is the classic tool that reveals those credentials. With credentials in hand, they perform lateral movement using frameworks like CrackMapExec and Impacket to run commands across hosts and harvest more access. Kerberos tricks let attackers obtain service credentials or forge tickets that can impersonate any account if granting ticket is compromised. Each tool's output is simple to read. Bloodhound lights up attack paths in a graph. PowerView dump users slash groups slash ACLs into CSV format. Mimikatz prints the credentials that let an attacker move. Impacket scripts perform replication or PC calls to extract hashes. Crack map exec shows which hosts accept your credentials. Defend this chain by mapping each attack to a mitigation for recon, Titan LDAP visibility, and ACLs. For credential theft, enable LSA protection, credential guard, EDR, and reduce interactive admin logins. For DC sync and replication abuse, never give replicating directory changes to normal users and monitor replication requests for Kerberos attacks. Protect SPN, use managed service accounts, enforce strong service account passwords and monitor unusual ticket lifetimes or renewals, and have a Kerberos granting ticket rotation plan ready for lateral movement. Adopt network segmentation to randomize local admin passwords and robust logging into SIEM or EDR to detect tool behaviors. Hackers don't wait, they hunt. But defenders who understand the game don't panic, they prepare. Don't be the person who calls IT after the damage. Be the one who stopped it before it began. Enable MFA, use a password manager, keep your OS or apps updated, back up important files, and treat unexpected links or requests like hot coals. Learn a few simple habits. Every patch, every strong password, every bit of awareness you build is a firewall they can't breach. This isn't just about systems, it's about mindset. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It keeps the flow alive and the hacks coming.
Stay curious, stay secure, and I'll see you in the next one.